the Legend Fighting Championship 6. Sam Brown from New Zealand from Strike Force takes on the local hero, the Chinese athlete Liu Wenbo. Similar here in ages. Yeah, Liu has a little bit of a reach advantage, but everything else is dead on accurate. Well, the last time we had a light heavyweight clash here was in Legend 3. It lasted about three minutes, and it was all action. Gorian Fight ending up with a golf Listen ball on his head. Times, protect yourself at all times. Push gloves. And this could be just as explosive with Liu Wenbo and Sam Brown. 93 kilos of Chinese and New Zealand beef going at each other. Tonight's Fight Clock presented by the City of Dreams. Feel the rush of spectacular entertainment. So let's see what happens here. Here we go. Nice uppercut from Brown. I like that. Leo believes he's the better boxer. Much footwork coming from Brown at the moment. Just feeling each other out. And for those kicks, you love those kicks, Vaughn Anderson, don't you? I do. What sort of effect do they have on you as a fighter? Well, it's just accumulated damage, and eventually you're not going to be able to stand on your lead leg. Well, we saw the Chinese fighter before, Wang Guan, get a lot of support. And I'm expecting the crowd are really going to warm up quickly here. As we see Liu, he was commentating on our Chinese commentary two or three months ago, and he was massive, as you said. He's shaven 20 kilos off. He's still a big man. As I mentioned earlier, Liu Wanbo has a lot of knockout wins, a lot of submission wins. He's dangerous everywhere. Brown, too, though, is also a very well-established fighter. And he does look a little crazy today. So the talk is that Liu has been uh, doing trials for ADCC. What does that mean? Well, he's, he's been competing a lot in jiu-jitsu these days, and he's done well um, at the ADCC trials in Shanghai recently. He's really developed his submission game to complement his boxing base. According to Chao Bo, a Chinese language commentator, he said that Liu Wenbo has also added a high kick to his arsenal. Well, he's going to have to kick pretty high today to get up to 100 and almost 90 centimeters, as now we see a bit of mixing. Are you surprised it's a relatively quiet start here? Neither one of these guys want this fight to go the distance, Mike. Inside low kick from Brown. You were taking 20 months off MMA to learn all those different techniques. Hmm. Does it matter? Would he be ring rusty in an MMA sense? Well, I don't know, maybe. Like I said, you know, in China, they, they spar like they're fighting, huh? They spar hard. When I was in China, I got my arm broken in sparring, so... It's not like he hasn't been getting hit. The pace starts to pick up a little bit now. Brown has only been training full time for the last four or five weeks. Before that, laying concrete, fixing concrete on construction sites, and that'll get you fit pretty well too. A few good strikes from Leo. Brown against the ropes. Leo going for the takedown. Body lock. Nice underhook from Brown. Still up against the ropes. He's not free yet. Something caught there, I think. Is it? Yeah, just an arm through the support strap. Is there blood now on Brown's face? You're kind of falling into that takedown, isn't he? I think he was. His, his lead leg was kicked out by Brown. Mm. Well, this fight's gone longer than. The last light heavyweight, we had a little bit of claret coming from beneath the left eye there of Brown. 
Nothing to worry about at the moment, although yeah, that drop is turning into a trickle. It's all right. If the cut is under the eye, it's a little bit safer because the blood won't drip into the eye. Unless we get on the ground, mm. as we saw earlier. And then all bets are off. Liu, a recent father, four-month-old baby at home. I'm so proud he was telling me about fatherhood. Well, he's got a bit to catch up on Brown, though. Brown's got four boys under the age of 10. It's unbelievable. He's only 28 years old. <laughs> well, evenings can get a bit quiet down there in New Zealand, that's for sure. <laughs> we just got TV a couple of years ago. As Liu tries to, these hammer punches, hammer blows to the thigh of Brown as we approach the last seconds of round one. Liao has a tight press here against the ropes, but it's, it's been Brown that's been capitalizing here with the strikes in this position. That's the end of the first round. Pretty quiet first round there. So Sam Brown ready for the second round. Liu as well, very keen to get things on. And it wouldn't surprise me if both corners are saying, let's get a bit more aggressive. We've had five or 15 minutes gone in this fight. Obviously, from the last fight call from the judges, kicking and punching is going to score points. Nice. Oh. Punch is scoring for Leo. <laughs> it was funny, he was telling me he's learning Sui Jiao from Yao Hong Gang. Man, half his size. Nice punches now from Brown as well. Heating up a little bit here in the second round. An overhand right from Brown. So get the crowd going. Both fighters happy to keep it standing. Aaron Boys urging the Kiwi on and from the corner there. Bomber Boys, striker Brown. He's got a fire up here, Brown. Oh, good combo from Liu there. Really, some good boxing skills there. Brown has a very interesting way of holding his head, doesn't he? It's a very yeah. fixed way. Ooh, that one was low. Brown seems to like this low inside lead leg kick. But you know, Mike, it doesn't do a lot of damage and it really makes you vulnerable to a, a big straight right hand. Mm. I think it's a bad choice against someone like Leo. If he smells it out, if he sees the opportunity and capitalizes on it, it might take Brown out. Leo's got the arsenal there, that's for sure. He's twice won the China Youth Boxing Championships. Was really inspired by Muhammad Ali into boxing before he took up MMA. Wanted to win an Olympic gold, never got there, but uh, really making a good living out of MMA and martial arts at the moment. The other fighters we've seen in this category as things are really mixing up now is Kevin Fityal from the Philippines, the Mariana Islands. And then we saw the interesting story of Hungry Young from Korea who weighed about 104 kilos, then came back and fought as a middleweight six months later. That was amazing, and it, it worked out well for him. He won that fight. More weight loss stories here at Legend than Jenny Craig, that's for <laughs> sure. Ooh, a big low kick from Brown now. I can see, I can see now on Leo's left leg, yep. starting to get red there above the knee. He's a tough character, Liu. I remember three months ago when he was commentating, he was showing us on his mobile phone. He had an abscess in his leg. Oh. And he, he held his mobile phone without anesthetic while it was being cut out and shot it. He filmed it. Oh, yeah, that made me sick to my <laughs> that stomach. That was queasy, wasn't it? So, you know, he's a tough guy. He's got our respect in the commentary box, that's for sure. But has he got Brown's respect? Let's have a look as we get over halfway in this fight.
Nice, now Brown connecting, pushing Leo back. Brown has fought some good fighters. He took on Jamie Tahuna in about his second fight. That was the highlight of his career so far, and also his win over Ronnie Sefo. So he's fought some good fighters down in the region there. Ooh, fight. a nice body shot, a nice body kick from Brown. So far, Leo's punches have been more accurate, connecting more. But Brown's been hitting some heavy punches too, and he's he's been he's been landing all those low kicks. It's really hard to score this one. Nice straight left there from Leo too. Would you like to see Leo move in? Throw some more combos after that leading hand. He really seems cautious. I don't think he needs to be. I think he's the better he's the better boxer. I don't think he needs to worry so much. Risk a little bit, go in, and, and, and he'll probably come out on top. But it's him that's doing all the backing up. And Brown, the one that moves forward. This is our co-main event for the night. Yeah, looking forward to that lightweight clash next. Adrian Pang against Jadamba, the Mongolian. Bamboo claps for the last 10 seconds of round two. This will go into the third round. So what are they saying to Liu in the corner there, Vaughn? Seems like they're giving him advice to dig into Brown's body more. You know, someone with a boxing background. You know, but the thing with heavyweights is one punch can knock you out, so why not aim for the head? Always the philosopher, Vaughn. Five minutes left. Ooh, a good combination now. Turning oh. it up a bit. Look at the sweat bouncing off. Both fighters going for broke here in this third round. When these big guys hit each other hard, you see the focus on their faces. Oh, this is what we like to see. Yeah. Woo. All of a sudden, the red mist comes, and they get on with the biz. Gorillas in the mist. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, not me. <laughs> Sam Brown. Low kick checked. Check by Leo. Oh, a double leg, beautiful double leg by Sam Brown. Now it's Leo off his back. Finally, we get to see some action on the ground here from Brown and Leo. What have they got? Both big, strong characters, that's for sure. See, Brown seems to be content to stay inside the guard. The legs, Leo's legs are open. It wouldn't be such a challenge to pop over one of those legs, get to side control. Now it's Leo going for trying to lock up the Kimura. Brown's not careful. He's going to get submitted with that. Yeah. Potential there for Leo, but he gives Let's it up. Yeah. He's lost to an armbar before. To McSweeney. One of his five losses. In a 19 fight career, Sam Brown. He's done well. Really needs to grind out this last three minutes. Mm, Thomas Fan calling us. Stop to this. What's going on? Oh. Cutting some excess tape off the gloves of Leo Wambua. So who's got to make the action in the last three minutes of this fight, Vaughn? Oh, it's really hard for me to call this one. I think Leo's been more accurate with punching, but Brown has scored with a lot of big kicks. Brown with a bit of swelling under that eye as he goes to work now in the last three minutes of this clash, the co-main event at Legend Fighting Championship 6. Sam really getting aggressive here with a ground and pound. But he's got to be careful. Leo, like I said earlier, Leo has a really well-established jiu-jitsu game. 
He's dangerous from his back. Sam Brown would be smart to pass the guy. You see his legs are open. It wouldn't be such a big deal to pop over one of those legs, get into side control, get a more dominant position, and then let off the GNP from there. So far, he's doing well, though. That's what he needs, oh. a good finish to this fight. Big right hand and an elbow now from Brown. Brown of Maori extraction from one of the warrior tribes down there, the Tainui people. Used to come down and eat the people in the South Island, people from my tribe. I was a bit worried when I saw him licking his lips the other day. <laughs> I think I was at the entree almost. Well, I heard that hasn't happened for a few years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas fans starting, them, they're starting on their feet. It's really tough for me to call this. Who is winning? Man, this, this last round is just so exciting to watch. Both fighters just going for broke here. Now it's Brown pushing Leo up against the corner, firing some uppercuts. Leo looking to his corner for advice. Now Johnny he's on his back again. again. Brown's this really got to push hard here. See, this time Brown's not in the guard. It's, it's, it's a better position to negotiate some ground and pound. Ooh, big knee to the head puts Leo back on his back. Finally, we saw that. A lot of people leaving their heads open to that. Strikes like this are going to put Brown on top. It's been a good Honest. couple of minutes. Do you think Liu's conditioning's what it should be? He's faded a little in the third round. Now, you know, you got to think about losing 20 kilos in six weeks. That, that can't be healthy, you know? And it's got to affect him a little bit. Oh, Liu, though, going to know what he knows best in the last few seconds of this fight. Popping off some combos. Brown just drops his head. I'm really impressed with Brown in this third round. He's done a great job. Boom! A big takedown, big rugby takedown. I'll tell you, that hurts too when you get down on that ring. It's not a cushion. That's for sure. Both fighters out on their feet, especially Leo. Leo looks exhausted, he huh? He is really tired. Brown making the most of it here in the third round. Another takedown. Takes him down again. It's almost like the crowd are in awe of these big fighters. There was more noise for the earlier fight, but there's some real vicious blows being traded there on the inside, down and dirty. As Brown finishes this one off with a flourish. Good work from the New Zealander uh -huh. as the elbow goes into the mush again. And that's it. Three rounds of savagery from the light heavyweights. Started off a little slow, but I got to say that third round has been the most, most exciting fight to watch. Liu, most exciting round to watch so far tonight. Liu can barely drag himself off the canvas, but he did well in the first round especially as he celebrates a potential victory. The crowd, well, they're not so sure either. It's going to be a very tough one to call again. Two fights in a row now. Let's take a look at the replay, see if we can make up our mind a little bit after we've seen this action. Look at Brown really dominated here in the third round, connecting with some beautiful punches. And look at this beautiful double leg takedown. Boom, right into the guard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Eric Bottombat scores the contest 29-28 for Sam Brown. Eric Bottombat beats up Gauze Bafun, Sam Brown Yaoseng. Judge Henry Chan scores the contest 29-28 for Liu Wenbo. Pengpun Henry Chan beats up Gauze Bafun, Liu Wenbo Yaoseng. Judge Daniel C. Pereira scores the contest 29-28. Pengmun Daniel Pereira by ease of Gao Yisab Ba Fun. Yi Fun Ke Hu Deng Yu Seng Jika Hai for the winner by split decision. Sam Brown! Well, that is a big victory for the Kiwi born. Definitely a tremendous win over a great fighter. Sam Brown will be happy. His team will be proud of him, and all the New Zealand fans will be happy tonight, too.
but Liu Wenbo, such a great sportsman, going up and congratulating, <laughs> congratulating him there. But uh, Sam Brown, he's not got enough energy for a harker, that's for sure. But a good champion there, or a good uh, win for Sam Brown in the light heavyweight category.